What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. Today's video was actually not planned. I went to get the wheelbarrow and well, we have a completely dead tire. So uh, thanks to a tree thorn, you're gonna get a special video today. Um, thank goodness for a wheelbarrow that has two wheels. I was able to get it down here with no issue. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop the tire off. We're gonna patch the tube. We're going to attempt to patch the tube. And uh, if it works out all right, I guess it will be a how-to video on how to change a tire. Okay, so wheelbarrows have a really simple design. You have a cotter pin here. You can usually just uh, scoot over with your fingers and sometimes just pull out with a pair of needle nose pliers. Uh, get on them here and pull it out. And then the tire should come slide right off. So now let's take it to the bench and let's see if we can get the tube out of this enough to do a repair. All right, now that we have the tire down here in or on the bench, what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and try to remove the tire. Um, I'll maybe put it in my vise if I can't get this tire popped out here. So um, there is an inner tube in these tires. Um, usually when you depress the uh, sidewall of the tire, you can feel the inflatable tube just like a bicycle. So uh, be sure when you're putting your screwdriver in here, you're not puncturing or putting more holes in the tube than you need to. Um, obviously, you probably just want to keep the hole that you have and let's repair that instead of make new ones. So just like a tire changer, we're going to work our screwdriver around here um, and pry this, pry this uh, this tire up off the rim here. So once we have it up off the rim, we push it over here and we can finagle this tube out. We might not have to take it completely off here. Um, I don't think it's completely flat. So let's go ahead and see if we can drain the rest of the air out of here. Um, you can take this valve core out. Um, I don't own a valve core tool. I might have one in one of these kits for your tire patch repair, but I don't own one. So let's go ahead and just take it completely off of the rim here. So once you get the one side, you should be able to just push it through here and pry it off. Now remember that tube is still in here, so you want to uh, make sure that tube's down out of the way. Um, a great time to take your tire stem and press it through the rim uh, and make sure that it's not uh, bound up there. <clears throat> that could prove problematic for your uh, inner tube not wanting to come off, but it looks like that one's gonna fight me a little bit. So we'll just go ahead and pry the rest of this wheel off, or this tire off this wheel. And we'll pull the inner tube up out of the tire. So once you've got it separated, now you can simply pull this inner tube down and out of the tire. So this one's fairly large and it has a lot of air still in it. So hopefully you're getting a good tutorial on just exactly how I pulled that down out of there. Putting it back is just reverse order, but here's what the inner tube looks like that would go inside your tire. So Let's go ahead and find our hole here. It was a puncture out on the front here somewhere. Um, let's see here. I think it's right there. Yes, it is. Okay, so it looks like it's punctured in two places here. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the air compressor over. We're gonna pump this up a little bit um, and then we'll see exactly where the leak is. Okay, I'm just gonna pump it up to five PSI, let's say here. <laughs> Okay, yep, there's our hole right there. All right, might be two holes, but they're right next to each other. So we're going to, um, we're gonna repair it all at once. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that the area is really clean. Um, a, lot of, a lot of the patch kits that come with, or a lot of the patch kits that you can buy at AutoZone, Walmart, everywhere. It just says buff around the area slightly larger than the patch. Um, they bring a 
It's basically a little rasp that's on a round piece of metal. We take this cheese grater piece, this little metal cheese grater, and it's designed to rough up the inner tube. So we go ahead and rough up the area everywhere around our hole to be patched. Okay. It's best not to introduce any more oils into the rubber uh, after you have uh, after you've roughed it up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this rubber cement here and we're going to spread it over our area where our hole is. Just like this, a little bit bigger than the patch is going to be. So uh, first things first is you do not press uh, the patch into the wet rubber cement. Let it dry. So I know this is counterintuitive. It seems like a glue and that you would just hurry up and place this on there. But we're gonna take our little patch here. We're gonna wait for this to flash off or dry for the most part. And then we are going to place our patch into the uh, already set up um, rubber cement. If you're worried about how to do this, there are instructions on the back of your patch kit. So um, once you uh, uh, put this rubber cement on, it says scrape off excess cement and allow rubber cement to dry. So we could we could um, we could scrape off a little bit of excess. Um, I think I'm just gonna mm, let's see here. I'll just scrape off excess. Whatever you say. I'll read the instructions. Okay. All I did was knock it down with a piece of backing. Okay. Boom. All right. Now after that, remove the backing from the patch and. Uh, place it on the piece here. So um, we will wait for it to dry. All right, after we've let it dry, all we need to do is peel the backing up of our patch. And the other side here, and we're gonna place it di directly over that hole here. Go ahead and knead it on out here. Okay, just like that. Now it does say remove the clear liner that's on top. I've always had trouble with this. Um, I've always had to try to get the the liner off of here. It's a pain in the butt. And sometimes I end up peeling the patch off. Um, never had good luck with it. If you have good luck with it, then great. Um, I have a really, really sharp scribe here and I literally can't basically can't catch the corner of the clear liner might be able to get it off here might okay it's coming I'll take it off here just because that's what the instructions say Whew. so oftentimes when I've done this before I end up peeling the patch off when I go to peel this liner but if you hold it around here as you peel it, you should be fine. Okay. All right, so I got lucky on that one. Now that patch is complete. So the key to this is let the rubber cement flash off first and get really, really tacky and dry and then place your patch. But other than that, we are ready to put the tire back on the rim. So go ahead and stuff our, our uh, tube inside the tire here and we will move this around as we go here. All right, ensure that your, uh, your valve stems on the outside when putting it back on. You guys wanna to have a topic, topic of discussion here. It's called a wheel barrel and not a wheel barrel. All right, slide your cotter key through and wrap it around here split it so it can't come off and we are back up and running all right i hope you guys learned something today this was a very easy project what it took us 10 minutes to do this so uh, it's something that you can do on your own and well you guys got a free tutorial here right here at the Durban compound. So give my video a thumbs up or, or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. And if you haven't clicked subscribe to the channel, well, it's time that you hit that button and we'll see you guys in the next video.